Welcome to my review of Paul McCartney photographs, 1963-64, Eyes of the Storm at the National Portrait Gallery, London. So the National Portrait Gallery has recently reopened and uh, here I am doing my bit for London tourism, taking the Bakerloo line to Charing Cross and walking through Trafalgar Square. Now, who hasn't heard of the Beatles? If you don't know who the Beatles are, you need to pause this video, go and look them up and then come back. I'm sure everybody has heard of them and has heard their um, music. Uh, whilst I'm not a super fan, I'm not, you know, I do enjoy their music. Um, I was interested to see how this exhibition would appeal to me, someone who had a very like rudimentary knowledge of their music and very little knowledge of their journey to, uh, you know, their musical journey. And I think that this exhibition delivered on that front um, because I left, I was really impressed at the st storytelling and kind of the way the exhibition was organised and it takes us through the, the, that year, you know, from 1963 to 1964. And what was significant about that time is that um, that's when the Beatles kind of went from being British sensation to this global phenomenon. And all of these pictures were captured by Paul McCartney himself using his own camera. And just to see that perspective, it's, it's a it takes you to a completely different world. I mean, we're talking about a world where I think television wasn't even as um, mainstream as it, you know, as it is obviously now. And but it was still it was, it was the only medium, you know, print and television were the main mediums and of how people kind of came together. And I think it's really it's just fascinating to see that and just to see as well the, you know, the ascent to stardom, I think, is really well conveyed and really interesting to see as well, especially now when we think of like all the big super groups that we have in the world and how quickly something, you know, with in the digital age can you know, become viral and spread across the world. Um, I, the, so the exhibition kind of takes you through their time in Paris and then also when they went to America and then when they go to New York, Washington and Miami. Um, I loved the splash of colour on the walls. I thought it really made the pictures pop quite nicely. Uh, this was quite a nice room as well, really lovely. And there's a couple of other surprises which I haven't taken images of because um, if you're going to go and see this, I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, so this image, this exhibition runs from the 28th of June to, or ran from the 28th of June to the 1st of October, 2023. And if you are a Beatles super fan, you really have to go and see it. I mean, and I think even if you're not a fan of the Beatles or you're not familiar with who they are, I still think you would enjoy it. There is that element for someone with no knowledge as well and I think it's um, some of these images are just like so you know you you go and see them there's one image of George Harrison which um I haven't included here but that was my favorite image for the entire exhibition so if you've uh, gone and seen this please do let me know what you thought in the comments I thought it was uh, it was quite an enjoyable exhibition and um, as always yep sound off in the comments and I'm always grateful and thankful that you are watching so thank you so much